Today's message is coming from Isaiah chapter 25, starting in verse 1. O Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth, for thou hast made of a city a heap, of a defense city a ruin, a palace of strangers to be no city, it shall never be built. Therefore shall the strong people glorify thee. The city of the terrible nations shall fear thee. For thou hast been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shadow from the heat. When the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the wall, thou shalt bring down the noise of strangers as a heat in a dry place, even the heat with the shadow of a cloud. The branch of the terrible ones shall be brought low, and in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things, a feast of wines on the lees, of fat things full of marrow, of wines, and on the lees of well-refined. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death and victory and the Lord God will wipe away tears from off all faces and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth for the Lord has spoken it. Amen. We need this testimony within our lives where we're able to look in the mirrors in the days where we have nothing, in the day of desperation and say, God, you are my help. You are my Lord. You are my savior. If there's any mess ups in my life is because of what I've done. But we count everything a blessing in God. We count everything as yay. Or yes, in God. Why? Because we learn. Every day with Jesus gets sweeter than the day before. We're learning while there are those who are weak that continue to make the same mistakes. And it doesn't matter the people that they hurt. It doesn't matter the scars in which they gain. They continue in the same mistakes. But we read within the word of God that the man of God may fall seven times, but will get back up again. Because that man of God has a purpose in life. His purpose is not to continue in his sins. His purpose is not to continue in his lives. His purpose is to serve God in his full majesty and strength. But he has to first realize what the flesh is and how it differs from the spirit. Because if you never taste of God's goodness, which means understood and felt God's spirit, then you would think that serving God is just doing good works. But what we've learned through our mistakes is that we could do good works for very bad reasons. To suit our own selves, to fill our own bellies. And although we may have a council of people behind us cheering us on, it doesn't mean we're doing it from a pure heart and from a clean mind. What Isaiah is saying in this message is the man of God, woman of God and child of God doesn't need to fear about what they gain or what they lose. For life is summed up in one thing. Do you serve God in spirit and truth? For Isaiah has seen the poor become rich and the rich become poor. He's seen defense cities become ruined. He's seen beautiful palaces turn to nothing. So he was left with a testimony of what God allowed him to see. Because trust me, there was other people who saw this. But just like we hear about in the times of Jacob and Esau, one he loved, one he didn't. And although Esau's habitation got destroyed, they said, well, we're just going to build greater. And it doesn't matter if we're not using the same materials that we once had that was considered stronger and better. We'll just build with what we have. But God sees from the distance and he says, all your gains are going to be for naught because I'm going to destroy them. I'm not happy with you as a people. 